Good morning, folks. We've now got two CMEs on their way to Earth after another big burst on the sun yesterday. We've got a proton storm, more earthquakes, and a fantastic paper furthering the science of solar-triggered earthquakes. Let's start with the last 36 hours on our star. We're on the north. We first see the previous eruption that we analyzed yesterday morning. Towards the end of this frame, that same region erupts once again. The filament wasn't as spectacular, but the flare was bigger, and so was the CME. On the X-ray flux chart, we see that yesterday's flare was bigger than the one on the 24th, about twice as powerful. So let's take the same time frame at 131 angstrom so we can see the eruptive activity. The same region on the north turns a bit more and then releases another flare. Now both of these also released high energy proton streams into the interplanetary magnetic field and the second one jumped us up to a proton storm level. You can see both jumps here. Luckily, it is only a level one proton storm event. Not as much to worry about here, but there will be subtle climate forcings from those solar energetic particles at the polar region. Quick look first at the eruption from the 24th. We saw this yesterday, where both the Enlil spiral and the Soho coronagraph showed the eruption with an Earth-directed component. Now, here's the one from last night. The bigger flare made a wider and faster moving CME, again with an Earth-directed component. And again, halo signature visible on SOHO, so this one's going to hit Earth as well. NOAA put both CMEs on their Enlil spiral, and while they may have underestimated the density of the first one, they have both of them set to hit tomorrow night, pretty much back to back over just a few hours. They are predicting level 2 geomagnetic storms, KP6, which means while we are not expecting severe world-ending impacts, those same lower level technological issues are expected along with more seismicity. Speaking of which, we already had two more magnitude 6 events yesterday. It's been quite the uptick the last week, one in Papua and one in Japan. And in addition to the several papers we've seen on the connection between solar flares and earthquakes, here's a great paper, once again on exactly that, the telluric currents, the electric currents running through the crust, and the focus of those currents on the fault lines, which proceed to trigger earthquakes. I am hoping to dig a bit deeper into this topic in a second video this evening if I get a chance, but meanwhile check out all the great links we have below. Get tickets to our upcoming events, check out Mammoth Nation, watch our playlists, and check out our store. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.